Why does Waldo wear a striped shirt? Well, I mean, he sure doesn't want to be spotted. Mike with Iceberg Gaming here. This is the moment that a lot of you have been waiting for. This is episode one of the Noob Gold Challenge season two. We are playing on Horde side this time as voted on by you guys. So in today's video, we're just gonna get started with the challenge. I did a little bit of pre-leveling um, over the last few months uh, whenever I had time. So we're a little bit ahead of the game uh, compared to last year. I've also made some changes based on uh, some viewer feedback, but also uh, some things that I learned myself along the way. Yep, I learned a few things. Very happy about that. So I'm going to make some adjustments. I'll go over those with you here today. And then we will open our first mailbox of the season. So here is where we stand so far. I have created an absolute army of druids this time. So this is one of the things that I learned from last time. Last time I only started with these first four characters here. Um, I had my quote-unquote main, and then I had the Skinner. Uh, I've got Skinning and Mining in the name, but I'm actually going to go uh, Engineering for the, uh, the the Volatile Collector. Tailoring Enchanting was number three, and then leather, uh, Alchemy and Engineering was number four. And I've also changed the names on these. Instead of having Iceberg Game, A, B, C, D, E, etc., I'm naming them what they are so that I can uh, more easily mail, mail back and forth. It was tough having to choose the right Iceberg Game every time last time so this that little change is just for my personal sanity i guess you could say but anyways we've got an absolute army here we've got the same starting four as last time uh one of the mistakes i made last time is i only did the four so i'm starting right away with all these characters so we've also got our leatherworking and blacksmith we've got a second engineering and alchemist character just in case we want to do sky golems we have a jewel crafting and inscription character we also have my quote-unquote double any farm method, the fire farm that I do, where I just park a character at the Molten Giants. See my video on that if you are not familiar with that. Uh, and then I've got four more characters that are just going to sit at the Tiller's Farm and just crank out tons of materials at the Tiller's Farm. Uh, they will be nothing but Tiller's Farmers, so I'll have tons and tons of materials coming in from those. I'm actually also considering making a fifth one of these, because I've got, uh, this one is going to be for uh, ores, this one will be for skin, the leathers, uh, this one will be for moats, and this is for herbs. Thinking about adding in a fifth one here for uh, alchemy, uh, enchanting materials also. And as you can see, we have uh, about almost 9,000 gold on hand so far. So not too much. It's spread across all of our characters. Um, basically, it's just been from questing, etc. I have not opened any mailboxes yet on this guy, on this server. Up on the auction house right now, we only have 10 posted auctions, but if they all sold, they would be worth about a quarter of a million gold. And now, let's get into our first mailbox opening of Season 2. So right away, we've got 162 sales, not too shabby for our first opening and the first hundred is coming in at 30,000 gold let's see what we've got right away we've got a lovely stout elemental from brewfest next up we've got a voltile life sale big sale in here and a huge amount of storm vine then some tillers materials in here uh you're going to be seeing a lot of cataclysm materials from my vast year farm and uh, some tillers stuff is going to fill out the rest and the occasional drain or garrison material in here so we've got a huge obsidian ore sale up next, followed by a bunch more tiller's farm materials, then a big green cabbage sale here. That's very cool. Huge Jara's Veil sale. That's hard, tough to say. Um, some other materials in here. Even sold some seeds. That's funny. And then we've got some Motes of Harmony, some Draenor Garrison materials. Uh... Nice thorium in here, more drain or garrison, some random herbs in here from leveling and flying around. And then uh, iron ore, once again, from flying around. <laughs> um, more tiller's materials. It always amuses me when these things say, sell, but uh, we'll take it. Juggling torch is from um, uh, Fire Festival. And then more materials, another huge Ashara's Veil sale. Veil sale, veil sale, veil sale, veil sale. Try saying that fast three times fast. Volatile life up next. 
big storm vine sail another huge obsidian ore sail in here um and then just a bunch of other little sales in here lord of frost private label is from firefest also and uh then another obsidian ore sale to wrap up this set of 100 let's open it up and see what's next And we have 63 more sales coming in for 9,000 gold. Um, so we got some more obsidian bars once again from last year. Been doing so. After we open the mailbox, I'll go over my leveling method, and you'll kind of see why there's just so much obsidian ore in here. Uh, and then we've got another big volatile, a couple of volatile life sales in here, and that wraps up everything big, I think. Oh, nice corium ore sale in here too. I think I got these randomly during the fire uh, firefest uh, dungeon boss. There was random corium that popped up. Uh, another big storm vine sale. Flame cap, that's cool. That's also uh, from the dungeon firefest boss. And okay, that is everything. So let's open it up, and we'll get our grand total, and then I'll go over how I've been leveling, etc. Uh, after that. And our grand total for week one is. 40.5 thousand gold. So that's kind of a low amount of gold, but considering we're still leveling, it's not too shabby. So anyways, I'll go over real quick my leveling method. I have a video about it up on the channel for if you're interested in more information. Basically, we've got all these druids, and we are leveling them all up the same way. So these are all high mountain torn. They all start at level 10. So right away at level 10, the first thing I do is go to Draenor and do the starter missions for the garrison to get the garrison set up. The garrison is an extremely underrated gold making method in my opinion. I have a bunch of videos up on it on the channel. Check those out for more information. But anyways, uh, all of these characters do nothing but Draenor garrison setup until level 30. Once they are level 30, they continue uh, to do Draenor missions, etc. We don't really do any questing after level 30. Uh, from level 30 to level 40, all we do is Vashjir, and we just dual gather in Vashjir. We rack up tons of experience very quickly. Basically, what I do is I go down the list and use up all the characters' rest and then let them f fully recover their rest while I do everyone else. And so we do that from 30 to 40. And then usually at level 40, I start my Tiller's Panda Farm. Uh, I, the, I usually do that because I have Epic Flying by then, so that makes that easier. I have started it on the top three characters since they're in the 40s. Uh, even though I don't don't have the epic flying on them yet, uh, I did start the Tiller's Farm anyway. So that's how they have gone from 40 to 46 and 43. Uh, we also have Brewfest going on right now. So that has been a huge boon. I have been doing the dailies. This is huge both for gold making and for leveling. As you saw, we've already sold uh, one of the battle pets from that. And it has also been a huge boon to the, uh, to the leveling process. All of these characters are all doing all their tillers of uh, the the brew fests every day so that is it takes up a little bit of time but it's definitely worth it so far it has taken these characters from 10 to 13 and i forget exactly where everyone else is but it's been a, a huge amount of experience for not much effort and it also is going to make us some gold so that wraps up season uh episode one of season two of the new gold challenge we are here on horde side and uh, this city is much darker, and I don't like it as much, but you guys wanted me to play this, so we'll have to get used to it. Uh, I might have to put in some filters on the recordings to make it a little brighter since it's so dark and dingy, unlike beautiful Stormwind. Uh, but anyways, we'll have to get used to it. And uh, I just want to say I apologize again for the, gold, the 6 million gold giveaway not working on Wednesday. Uh, I thought the internet would hold up here uh, while I'm on vacation, but obviously it did not, which is weird because on Monday it worked pretty good. So I'll keep an eye on it and see if I can do anything. If I am able to, I'm going to try again for the giveaway next Wednesday if I can get the internet working better. Otherwise, it will have to wait till uh, uh, October 5th when I will be back at my my house where I have my setup and good internet. So anyways, I apologize again for that. I thank you all so much for the support. We had a lot of fun hanging out that day anyway, even though uh, I had my most viewers ever on a Twitch stream, even though I was basically doing nothing on there other than trying to get the internet working. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.